Juvenile crime is an ongoing problem in the new city of South Fulton. One city leader says that she has a plan to curb the problem. Punish the parents. Fox News' Claire Sims explains what could happen to parents. Our community, um, they're tired of being terrorized. And what was disturbing to find out that most of the crime that's being committed is by delinquent minors. Helen Zenobia Willis says a proposed ordinance could help curb the juvenile crime in the city of South Fulton. Current state law makes it very difficult to lock up teens for nonviolent crimes. But the councilwoman says at the request of a resident, she drafted a city ordinance, similar to one in place in Savannah, that would hold parents accountable for the delinquent behavior of their 13 to 17 year olds, with a fine of up to $1,000 or up to 30 days in jail. It's a penalty. To me, it's almost like a penalty for being a parent. Tracy Roll wholeheartedly opposes the idea and believes it will only lead to more problems. If you get rid of the parent because they can't pay the fine, then you leave the you still leave the teenager unsupervised. I don't see a win-win with this ordinance at all. Willis says her legislation is not designed to punish good parents whose children make a mistake, but instead parents who do not take an active role in supervising their teens. And she plans to add what she calls a restorative justice component to the ordinance, which would give parents who are trying to help their children time to fix any issues. It, it applies to the parents who are not supervising their children and who have children in the community that's terrorizing us and they're not doing anything to correct their behaviors. Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.